Welcome Sagittarius to your bonus love reading for March. If you are new to my channel, welcome and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to be using the AF Tarot deck to pull some energies, um, which is this card, these cards right here. For the main spread, we are using the Soul Cards Tarot and then we will clarify some of the cards and then pull the love oracles to see what this person has to say to you, okay? So, oh, that's perfect, okay. So let's get started with your reading and see what is coming out. Ace of Swords in reverse. Some truth is being revealed here. We do have the tower coming in in reverse. Oof. Oh, the Four of Swords. Okay. Big messages here. Could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Oh, there, there's the issue, the Knight of Wands. So this type of energy, um, you could be dealing with another fire sign or somebody could be carrying this energy here, is causing a lot of conflict within this connection. And I'll get to it right now because I do feel like this person is, is very inconsistent, could be coming off a bit, you know, coming in and out of your life or maybe not following through with their words here, feeling a lot of dishonesty. Um, now, this energy could be, yes, a past energy, maybe a tower moment that you had that was something very unexpected. But also for a lot of you, I do fee feel like this tower is here for like a warning or some type of disruption is about to happen as truth is being revealed here. Now, the Ace of Swords is truth, right? Some breakthrough that is needed, some clarity, uh, cloudy judgment, however, maybe not seeing clearly at this time or something's not clear in communication the tower is all about conflict disruption um this also could be big unexpected changes and the tower it could be somebody resisting change as to why the tower is here and the four of swords is all about taking a step back and looking at this the bigger picture of the situation um, this is a, a need of more uh, self-love and healing um, because this, this could be a very draining energy okay uh, this also could mean separation or taking a break from this person and, re and now um, pulling away from this energy be due to their actions or uh, due to their inconsistency in a way but when the four of swords comes through it's more uh, of a goal to put yourself first um, and love yourself first, okay? Because there is a feeling of frustration and a loss of opportunity or feeling like uh, things are not going as expected. Uh, there could be some trickery, yes, due to this energy. And I feel like this person does not want you to move on. And I'll tell you why. They are feeling mentally conflicted because they're thinking you're getting a lot of attention. They know that you're very attractive. So there could be a feeling of them wanting to come in and bring something into balance after a clash. They don't want to see you with anyone else, but also they are very inconsistent. So it's a very selfish energy, childlike from the energy I'm feeling. The five of swords is again, feeling mentally conflicted. The eight of cups is stating that yes, there could be a feeling of walking away or emotionally feeling that you're disconnecting from them. Um, and I feel what you don't see coming is this four of wands energy, which is all about stability within a home, family and finances. But again, what the challenge is, is inconsistent. So for a lot of you, this could be a karmic cycle where someone comes in and out of your life. So it, it, it's good for a little bit or good for a couple weeks or months and then boom, they're back to being inconsistent again. And then here you are, okay, what do I, you know, what the heck is this? So I do feel like you are looking back in the situation, kind of seeing if this has the potential to even grow or to be something like serious in the future. Um, or is this going to be something I'm gonna be dealing with for all of my the time I'm with this person like what does the future look like um, so I do feel like there is a, again a childlike energy we do have the emperor I feel like this is more of um, an energy that 
you're wanting or maybe desiring here. Um, if this is you, this is being responsible and taking your power back and not giving up. But an emperor like this is more of the empress's match. This is someone who is more of marriage material, uh, who's serious, who has, who takes life, uh, who works hard, right? Um, and I feel like this could be a new beginning starting up for a lot of you guys, uh, just saying, because that's where it looks like what's coming in. Um, but this other situation, depending on if this is the past, present or something you're coming out of, it just feels like it's going in circles and this person is planning to come together again with you. But I feel like it's a need to set healthy boundaries or this person keeps crossing your boundaries and it's just like you can't really seem to get a hold of the situation like it just feels very loose right I, I can't really explain it so let's get this temperance because obviously this person really wants to keep going with you they're wanting to um, bring in some balance okay they could be feeling like you're not putting in the effort anymore we have the six of wands oh you could be taking um you could be going somewhere else in a new direction right maybe leaving this person behind or left this person behind and moving on and they're like no five of swords coming in so there could be a feeling of a, somebody wanting to want you to forgive them and i feel like this is what that energy is but we still have them tower the tower of wands the knight of wands well they are kind of like a walking tower because i feel like this tower is about to disrupt in for this energy i don't think you're going to be a part of this tower i think this is a tower that's needed for this person because they're resisting change and being reckless with their energy and other people's energies so it's a matter of time that something crashes down um, because everything is being built off illusions or lies or inconsistency and like their lies or whatever is catching up to them to where something unexpected happens as in an emotional breakdown or something that kind of like to, gives them a big wake up call because they can't just be going around acting like this right and it, so I do feel like the universe is in control of this person and I feel like they are revealing a lot to you here on how this person is Okay, so you guys could be dodging a really big bullet because this is like a lot of karmic lessons this person's needing to learn. Huh. I feel like they are wanting to come in here. Oh. They do feel like they lost you. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but they still don't have any self-awareness. This person could have different beliefs than you or, or or you could have a lot of self-doubt about about this person maybe they're like kind of like victimizing mentality um but they could be feeling like this is really ending it's painful for them um and it's because of this tower i mean I, i'm sorry they the knight of wands this is player like energy too Maybe they thought you were going to be in their life forever. Yeah, this person is fear of change. They don't, I don't think they're ready to, for you to move on with somebody else. Because I feel like it's a karmic lesson. It's a karmic cycle that they keep going through and not learning anything from it. That's why this tower is, I feel, is about to fall for them. Big wake up call coming for this person. Somebody here could be feeling really jealous of you here. If they are in a relationship or if this is a separation, depending on how long this is. Um, this person that if they could, if they are in a, in a different relationship, this is for some of you, they could just, uh, their person that they're dealing with is very jealous of you. Um, <laughs> they must have said something to this new person or this person that they're dealing with because I don't know where I'm getting this. It's just a feeling, a uh, very strong one. And um, this person could be causing a lot of problems too within a connection of, in some sort. And that's why they want to come back to you. Let's see what this person has to say. This energy is just so crazy to me. 
Yeah, jealous and possessive. Oh, okay, so they could be very jealous here. I have sexual fantasies we, about you. This was a fling. There's so much I want to tell you. So maybe they're telling you like this other relationship is a fling because, yeah, because this person sees long term, but they're not acting long term. You see, nobody wants long term with an inconsistent person. That's a long term of sadness and <laughs> frustration. I... I feel like I ruined everything. Yeah. So I feel like this situation is what can put them in a tower moment. They can't be hiding their feelings and sweeping things under the rug anymore. I feel like they are going to be facing this tower um, very soon. And it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they started messaging you um, or apologizing or trying to get your attention again. Because um, this person's old ways isn't working. And they could be hurting a lot of people along the way. I feel you're pretty good. You're getting attention, I feel. I feel like you're getting, you know, you're releasing this person. You've done a lot of healing. You chose yourself. This is this is an energy that, you know, you have great things to manifest. You guys could be planning something or going places with or a need or a want to plan something and hang out with friends or family and just enjoying life right now, right? Not really wanting to be in any chaos or in drama. All right, Sag. When you pass from this world, uh, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Now, we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Allowing the universe to handle the situation. I feel this person has so much deep wounded issues within themselves. Um, uh, this is their tower, not yours. And you don't want to be a cause of this tower or you know be in this tower with this person so i feel like it's better that you're living your life and manifesting other things because even though you don't see it right now there's an it, there's something going on with this person um to where they're needing some change and i feel like the tower is coming for them okay or if it haven't already okay because there's something big's coming for them but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you from the looks of it you're doing amazing you're on the right path you're manifesting you're moving on you're mentally doing a lot of work on yourself you may not be dealing with a lot of people or anyone right now or maybe you are um but this is more of feeling good within yourself and now seeing things clear after such a rocky hard time and difficult situations um, now this, again, this could be something from the past or something you're coming out of, but either way, I feel like you're coming up on top because you're coming up as victorious. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here. I really hope you like this reading. Um, if it brought any clarity or light in your situation, please like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys for April. God bless.